mess up some names because I've already it's, it's not gonna, it's not going to be pretty. I can tell you guys right now it's not going to be pretty. Uh, I love when Sandy Smith comes on. Uh, she's always either cooking or talking about animals. Four Paws Pantry is the uh, nonprofit that she started to help feed puppy dogs and kitty cats. That's a really basic, Mainly, basic. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, but uh, now you've done something different, and this is the second year that you've done this. And here it is. It's called No Empty Bowl. So first, before we get to No Empty Bowl, we're also going to get to, and here's where I'm messing up the name, Matt. Yes. And while I was trying to figure out whether it was Matt or Pat, I forgot your name. Jason. 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 And Dasher. And Dasher. And Dasher the dog. <laughs> By the way, that's the most still Dasher has. I can't believe Dasher. Yeah, seriously. Dasher's been like, ar, 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 born to the camera. Isn't that what we're <laughs> So, uh, No Empty Bowl. Yes. Talk about Four Paws Pantry. Just give me 30 seconds on exactly what you guys do to set the stage. Okay. We are a nonprofit that if you need temporary assistance to keep your pets, to feed them, we will give you up to six months of food per uh, each month for each animal that you have. Now, the animals have to be spayed and neutered. And one, one big plus with that is a lot of people who don't think they, who think they may have to give up their pet right. uh, are able to keep their pet. That's right. Because, because and we keep families together. That's all. Keep that's part of his together. family. And I think Dasher, Dasher or Dancer, which one was it? Dasher. Jason, Dasher. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> 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 who knows, who knows. So, and look at the bow tie, by the way. That's, oh, so that's, good. That's, yes. that's excellent. Yes. Uh, so now let's transition into No Empty Bowl. Daily Ration, uh, you guys are from the Daily Ration, and uh, first of all, why are you teaming up with Four Paws Pantry? What is your passion for this? Yeah, we, we just really liked uh, the mission. We thought it really went well with kind of how we run our business. Uh, we have a really large patio. It's an old gas station, so um, it's really dog-friendly, kid-friendly. Uh, so we have, on any given Saturday or Sunday, we have you know 20 to 30 different dogs coming in. And so we knew that uh, our clientele would really enjoy it, and would like to be a part of something like that. So you have 20 or 30 dogs coming in. <laughs> Easily. Kind of, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, not, all, the maybe not all at the yeah, same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. but now that alone, is that a different model? Like dogs, come on in the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, the, the way it's set up is because that patio is so massive. I mean, that yeah. patio is larger than our entire, like, in, like square footage inside. Yeah. So you're allowed to have animals on an outdoor patio if they're on a leash, um, as far as the, the restaurant side of it goes. Yeah. So. We thought to kind of embrace that a little bit more, and that neighborhood is so you know it. That restaurant butts right up against it. You know, that walkable neighborhood with families and everybody through there walking their dogs all the time. So. And real quick, I want to give you guys a quick plug. Daily Ration. I can. I've heard of it. I have not been there yet, but it's now on my list in the next week or two. I will definitely go there. What kind of food do you serve, and uh, what kind of atmosphere is it? Yeah, like I said, it's an old old gas station, so it all it has like the original floor and center block oh, cool. walls, big big garage doors, so. A lot of natural light. Um, as far as food, we do breakfast, lunch, and then just recently started opening for dinner. Um, all made from scratch uh, food, a good mixture of Southern fare with some uh, kind of new American, so some Latin influence, some Asian influence dishes. Okay. Like a huge brunch on the weekends, too, and Saturday, Sunday brunch. So and now Sandy will come back to you, okay. No Empty Bowl. Yes. How do restaurants partner? And it's not just daily ration. We have right. an entire, I'll, I'll rattle it off yes. here. McAllister's Deli is partnering with you guys, Public House. Shuford's Barbecue, Stone Cup Coffee, all partnering. So how does it work? All right. You go to the restaurant on the specific day, and I think it's showing up there. Yeah. And uh, you just eat, drink, and enjoy. Like you normally would. Like you normally would. You don't have to ask for anything or say anything. And that establishment will give us either uh, some type of a monetary donation off their sales for the day. That is incredible. So, so here, easy peasy. And this is uh, June 25th through the 27th. Monday, you go to the Daily Ration. You head over to McAllister's Deli. Then Tuesday, Public House. Uh, Wednesday, Stone Cup Coffee and Shuford's Barbecue out on Signal Mountain Road. By the way, now that's a place I haven't been there in a while. I'm going to Shuford's Barbecue too. I love it. Love it. Uh, yeah, all of those are great restaurants, yeah. too, so that, that's uh, awesome that you got nice some, of, some really premier and a good variety of restaurants yes. to participate. Yes. So uh, this is the second year. How did it go last year? I'm assuming It well. was great. Uh, actually, it's the third year. Third year. Okay. And this is their second year to partner with us. Yes. Awesome. 
So, so do you notice that a lot of people that are coming in just to support Four Falls Pantry? Is that something that, that uh, we did notice know? a few last year, and I'm excited about getting ahead of the game a little bit this year on it too to kind of push it a little more because I think that neighborhood's going to be super receptive. To and yeah, I think uh, I think all of these restaurants. Uh, one good thing about them, and you probably chose them because of this. They're go they're going to be uh, pretty friendly towards people with pets. Sure. And so those are the people that are naturally going to go, and I am sure that these restaurants are reaching out to their clients and their, their uh, patrons and saying, hey, this is the day that you need to come in. So I hope you guys are exploding with business, not just for you, but also for you. Every day. So when and we really, yes, it is. It's easy, as I put on our Twitter account, it's easy peasy or win-win. So. And I think you're happy that you're on Twitter, aren't you? Oh, yes. Twitter. yes. You're we on the Twitter. Are you on the Instagram? <laughs> um, we've got an Instagram account, but I can't keep up with it. Yeah, I do either. Facebook and Twitter, but on Twitter we have over 2,200 worldwide followers. We have an actor in Scotland that follows us. We have, That's kind uh, of awesome. Yeah, we have some notable people that follow us, and... As I tell people, the common denominator is the love of animals. And it's worldwide, I'm yes. telling you. Okay, this dog is going to explode if we don't <laughs> let him go. Asher has been so good. He has been, uh, yes, he has been great. Guys, thank you again. Uh, Daily Rations, go head out there at one of the other fine restaurants that we mentioned a moment ago. And if you want to partner up feeding pets and keeping families together yes. in the Tennessee Valley, go to fourfallspantry.org, fourfallspantry.org, or give them a call. They're very friendly people, 475 Six three four two. We'll take a quick break and have four three plus two right after this.